All right, I wanna welcome everyone to our live Saturday morning presentation. I just went in and muted everyone. So as we go through today's presentation, if you've got questions, you'll need to unmute yourself. Plus we'll have time at the end of the presentation for any questions that you might have. Got a lot of information I wanna share with you today about marketing nitric oxide therapy. Before we get into the PDF that I'll be sharing with you today, as well as I'll put a link to this PDF in Tuesday's newsletter, as well as the recording of today's presentation. Um, what I wanna do is I want to go to my other browser. As you know, we have a website that we've developed for our Synergy family that is accessible to everyone in Synergy worldwide. And when you go onto the home page, the URL is pretty simple, OurSynergyFamily.com. When you go onto that home page, you can see that we have dedicated pages to specific marketing strategies. And we're going to be talking about marketing nitric oxide therapy today. And as you can see, there is a link. If you click on this button, it's going to open up your browser into a new window. And this page is completely dedicated to marketing nitric oxide therapy with our product of choice, Proxy9 Plus. I'm not personally going to spend time going through this page today because we have too much other information I want to share with you. But this is a page that you can go on and you can go through the resources, the videos, the PDFs that are on this page so that you can begin to pick out the tools that are gonna be helpful to you if you decide that you wanna use nitric oxide therapy as a way for you to market your Synergy business, to create your client base, to be able to create your customers that are using ProAgen Plus as the product, which then creates CV on your tracking center one. And once that CV is above 150 CV for the month, you start earning a 25% rebate on a CV of everything that's above 150. So as you can see, there's a lot of great resources on this page that you can use your job if you're gonna do nitric oxide therapy as your marketing strategy is to go to this page and choose the videos and the PDFs that you believe will be most important for you to get this information into the hands of people. And what I wanna to do today is I wanna give you some, a, a, an overview of what nitric oxide therapy is so that you understand how to market it properly as well as there's new information that just recently came out in the last month showing how the COVID-19 virus specifically targets and damages the lining of the vascular system, which is what the endothelium is, which is what nitric oxide therapy is all about. Nitric oxide therapy is all about helping the endothelium function properly to optimize its ability to create what's we, what we call nitric oxide. So let's get a def definition here. This is the easiest and simplest definition that I can give you about nitric oxide therapy. It's using nitric oxide to improve blood flow. That is what nitric oxide therapy does, uses nitric oxide to improve blood flow. And there are two basic pathways. And the reason why I bring this up is I had a client call me this week and I spent almost 45 minutes trying to help him understand that information given to him by a company called Circo2, which uses a nitrate nitrite pathway for the creation of nitric oxide, that the information that they were sharing with him was disingenuous. And so let me just give you a brief overview of the two main pathways your body uses to create nitric oxide. The first pathway is the endothelial pathway. This is the pathway that you, we use with Proagen Plus because this pathway uses the lining of your vascular system, what's called the endothelium, to create nitric oxide. And the key nutrient is the amino acid L-arginine. There are other ingredients that can optimize this production, but the key nutrient is always going to be the amino acid L-arginine. Now the other pathway for the creation of nitric oxide is what's called the nitrate nitrite pathway. This pathway uses enzymes in your digestive system to convert nitrates to nitrites, which then can be used to create nitric oxide. And the key nutrient is beetroot. So things like Circo2, Neo40, you know, they all use beetroot as the primary pathway for the creation of nitric oxide. And 
the question then comes, which pathway has the greatest potential to create nitric oxide? And this is where my discussion with my client, uh, I try to help him understand that what was being told to him by Circo2 was disingenuous at best and misleading. And, and so here's the bottom line. Your endothelial pathway is the best pathway for the creation of nitric oxide, no matter what your age is. And the reason why is because of the surface volume of the endothelium. There's approximately 60,000 miles of the vascular system. And if you, and, and that whole vascular system is lined by the endothelium. It's only one cell thick. It's just, it's the inner lining of the vascular system. But if you remove that lining, of the, you know, the endothelium from the vascular system. And if you laid that lining flat out on a surface, it would have the surface volume of a football field. I mean, that's kind of I'm just the idea that you've got 60,000 miles of vascular system in your body is kind of hard to get your head around. And to think that you have just in one tissue called the endothelium, a surface volume of a football field inside you, Again, it's hard to get your head around that, but that's how large the endothelium is. And so when you give that endothelium the right ingredients, you can optimize the production of nitric oxide. So as we all know, there are other key ingredients that help in the optimization of nitric oxide, L-citrulline, vitamin C, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, pomegranate fruit concentrate, grape skin extract, great red grape polyphenol extract. All of those ingredients can be utilized by the enzymes of your endothelium, this large surface volume to optimize nitric oxide production. And when you look at the nitrate nitride pathway, there are no other ingredients that can help increase nitric oxide production. So it's a limited pathway that does produce nitric oxide but can't produce nitric oxide over a long period of time and can't use other pathways for the creation of nitric oxide or other ingredients for the creation of nitric oxide. This is why the endothelial system is absolutely critical to nitric oxide production in your body. And nitric oxide therapy is all really based upon helping you to properly nourish your endothelium to optimize its nitric oxide production to improve blood flow. Now, there are three, there are three key properties that you need to understand when it comes to nitric oxide. Property number one, nitric oxide relaxes the smooth muscle of the vascular wall to dilate the blood vessels for improved blood flow. This helps to maintain normal blood pressures. So anyone that you know of that has high blood pressure could benefit from nitric oxide therapy. Prop property number two, nitric oxide keeps blood platelet cells from sticking together to reduce the risk for strokes and heart attacks. So anyone that you know that has a history of strokes and heart attacks in their family, nitric oxide therapy could help to reduce their risk for strokes and heart attacks. And then property number three, nitric oxide helps to initiate repair mechanisms to heal damage to and help maintain the endothelial cells. So nitric oxide is critically important to the health of your endothelium. And the healthier your endothelium, no matter what your age category, the better your body is going to be able to create nitric oxide if you're giving the endothelium the right ingredients. Now there's recent COVID-19 information that has come in place about how this virus attacks the lining of the vascular system or endothelial cells. And so what I've got here is I have uh, links to articles. This is an article that I did that's on my Dan Hammer Health website entitled COVID-19 and endothelial health. And then this is a link to MPR, which did a big article about clots, strokes, and rashes. Is COVID-19 a disease of the blood vessels? Basically, is COVID-19 a disease of the endothelium? And then here is a link to the European Heart Journal. And as you can see, the title to this is COVID-19 is, in the end, an endothelial disease. 
So they come right out and say, say this COVID-19 is an endothelial disease. So what do they mean? Well, what these articles talk about is how the COVID-19 virus damages the endothelium causing the following problems. First thing it does is it creates inflammation of the vascular lining, which gets worse. This inflammation gets worse as the virus causes more damage to the endothelium. So as the virus progresses, then there's more damage that's being done to the endothelium causing more inflammation of the endothelium. This then increases blood pressure. And the other thing that it does, and this is the most damaging aspect, is that it increases the release of a protein needed for blood clotting. That protein is called the von Willebrand factor. In fact, you would bleed to death if your endothelium didn't create this von Willebrand factor because it's absolutely necessary for blood clotting. The problem is, is the COVID-19 virus affects the endothelium where it begins to over produce this protein, releasing it into the bloodstream, causing blood clot formation throughout the body, especially in the lungs. And this is the aspect that for most people leads to death. Now, what does nitric oxide therapy do to help offset these three concerns? Well, nitric oxide helps to relax the vascular wall to help maintain normal blood pressure. Nitric oxide helps to prevent vascular inflammation by initiating repair mechanisms to heal damage to the endothelial cells. And nitric oxide helps keep blood platelet cells from sticking together to prevent blood clots. And if your endothelium is functioning properly, then it will not produce the Van Willebrand factor unless it's absolutely needed to stop a blood loss from an injury whether it be an internal injury that's bleeding or whether it be something that you cut yourself and you have your, you know, your bleeding, your endothelium will respond to that properly to produce the von Willebrand factor to then cause blood clotting. And so a healthy functioning endothelium regulates that whole process. And what happens with the COVID-19 virus is that becomes an unregulated process of the endothelium, which then leads to blood clots, especially in the lung area. Now, the question is, how do you market this information without getting into trouble? So I've got two suggestions for you. And again, I'm going to show you the information and then we'll open this up for discussion. And uh, again, I'll make this PDF available to you so that you can have the information and then you can decide how you want to use it and how you want to adapt it to your voice. Now, as I shared last week in the art of asking questions, anytime that you do an email or anything that you send out in social media posts, you want to read that information prior to putting it out to people before you send the email or before you post the information, you want to read it to make sure that it sounds like you're talking to a person from a conversational standpoint. So it's using your words, it's using your cadence. And, and again, I'm going to go through this information. I may have some things I need to clean up between now and Tuesday because my I, I prefer to use open office to create my documents because I find it easier to use than Word. Microsoft Word. The problem is sometimes open office crashes and I had that problem with this document. So some of this I had to recreate and I hadn't had time to actually go through it and read it to make sure that there's not typo errors and I don't have something that's wrong. So anyways, I'm going to read this information to you so you can see what this email would look like. Dear John, and, and, and let me back up. I would send this type of email to all your existing customers that are using ProArts 9 Plus so that you can help them understand that what they're doing to maintain a healthy endothelium through nitric oxide therapy is a way to help them help them offset 
potential problems from the COVID-19 virus if they get it. It's not gonna protect them from getting the COVID-19 virus, but it can reduce the risks associated with the COVID-19 virus. So here it is. There is new information on how COVID-19 damages the lining of your cardiovascular system. What is called the endothelium. As a product user of ProArtsTime Plus, I wanted you to understand this new information and how nitric oxide therapy helps to offset this damage. Here's the bad news about how the COVID-19 virus damages the endothelium causing the following problems. Inflammation of the vascular lining, which gets worse as the virus causes more damage to the endothelium. Increased blood pressure, increased release of a protein needed for blood clotting called the von Willebrand factor, resulting in blood clot formation throughout the body, but especially in the lungs. Here's the good news about how nitric oxide therapy helps to offset these three concerns. Nitric oxide helps to relax the vascular wall to help maintain normal blood pressure levels. Nitric oxide helps to prevent vascular inflammation by initiating repair mechanisms to heal damage to the endothelial cells. Nitric oxide helps keep blood platelet cells from sticking together to prevent blood clots. And the best product in the market for the creation of nitric oxide is Pro Arts 9 Plus from Synergy Worldwide. It is why it remains the product of choice for optimizing nitric oxide production. Plus, Pro Arts 9 Plus has been clinically proven to help prevent vascular inflammation. While nothing can currently prevent you from potentially getting the COVID-19 virus, there are ways to reduce your risk. And nitric oxide is one of the ways. I thought you'd like to know. If you have any questions or concerns, then please call me. Have a blessed day, Dan, and your phone number. So that's the basic type of email that I would send to all my existing customers to reinforce why they should continue to utilize nitric oxide therapy with our product of choice, ProArgin Plus. And again, Everything is in the terms of nitric oxide therapy. Nitric oxide therapy does this. Nitric oxide therapy does that. Nitric oxide therapy benefits you this way. Nitric oxide therapy can help offset this issue. And then our product of choice is ProArts 9 Plus from Synergy Worldwide. So it's really important that you separate those two so that the benefits of what nitric oxide therapy can do, you can talk about without getting yourself into trouble. Did anybody else lose Dan? All right, so this is the email that I would recommend. And again, what I was saying is that you always talk in terms of nitric oxide and what it can do to benefit you and benefit health issues. That way you keep yourself from getting into trouble. You keep Synergy Worldwide from getting into trouble. And then our product of choice to maximize nitric oxide production is Pro Arts 9 Plus from Synergy Worldwide. I'm gonna go in and I need to mute because I got a bit background noise here. Give me one second. All right, now, now that is the email that I would suggest to you. And again, in your voice, and what when I say your voice, whatever you write for an email, you need to read out loud and if it does not sound like it's you having a conversation with a friend, then you need to edit it until it gets to that point where your email, when you read it, sounds like you're having a conversation with your friend. Now, here's the social media campaign that I, I would suggest. And again, every suggestion I give to you is exactly that. You need to take the suggestions and then reshape it in the way that you want to present the information. <clears throat> when we've done social media, uh, when, when we talked about doing social media campaigns in the past, the, the basic procedure is to do two posts per day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. And, and so you're doing a total of 10 posts. Here's the progression that I would recommend for you that would help to systematically educate the people who are following you on social media to help present the information in a compelling way that can lead to a positive outcome where they may then want to contact you for more information. 
So here's what I would do. Day one, post one. Hi, everyone. I wanted to share some information this week from the Million Lives Project. Their goal is to help a million people or more understand how to use natural methods to address a variety of health issues. This week, I'm going to post information about new research that shows how the COVID-19 virus damages the lining of your cardiovascular system, what is called the endothelium. But before I do, in my next post, I'll share with you the three keys to COVID-19 protection. So here's day one, post two. As promised, I'm going to share with you the three keys to COVID-19 protection. They are having normal vitamin D levels in your bloodstream, improving your immune system health, harnessing the power of nitric oxide therapy. Now, don't misunderstand what I'm saying. Having these three keys in place doesn't mean you won't get the COVID-19 virus, but research shows that you can significantly reduce your risk and the symptom severity is significantly lower if they are in place. Tomorrow, I'll talk about the one that is least understood, which is harnessing the power of nitric oxide therapy. Day two, post one. Most people have never heard of nitric oxide therapy. That's unfortunate, since nitric oxide therapy can help address most cardiovascular health concerns. In 1998, three American researchers won the Nobel Prize in Medicine for their discovery on how the lining of your cardiovascular system, what is called the endothelium, <clears throat> converts the amino acid L-arginine into nitric oxide. Nitric oxide is the master signaling molecule of your entire cardiovascular system. You could not live without nitric oxide. It is that important. In my upcoming post, I'll share with you the three key benefits of nitric oxide. Day two, post two. Tomorrow, I'll share with you the three key benefits of nitric oxide. Today, I want you to understand how important your endothelium is to your cardiovascular health. This tissue is only one cell thick, but it lines all of your cardiovascular system. It lines the inside of all your arteries and veins. Your capillaries are just extensions of the endothelium. It is estimated that there is approximately 60,000 miles to your cardiovascular system all of it lined by endothelial cells. If you removed this lining and placed it on a flat surface, it would cover the size of a football field. It is that large, and as I shared earlier, it regulates almost all of your cardiovascular health. And one key function of your endothelium is the production of nitric oxide. We'll talk about this tomorrow. Day three, post one. As I shared yesterday, nitric oxide is critical to your cardiovascular health. Why? Because it improves blood flow. And nitric oxide has the following three key benefits. Benefit one, nitric oxide helps to relax the, the vascular wall to help maintain normal blood pressure levels. This is also, this also again, like I said, this is where it crashed. This is, this is, this improves blood flow and the delivery of needed oxygen. Benefit number two, nitric oxide helps to prevent vascular inflammation by initiating repair mechanisms to heal damage to the endothelial cells. This keeps the lining healthy and functioning. Benefit three, nitric oxide helps keep blood platelet cells from sticking together to prevent blood clots. This reduces the risk for strokes and heart attacks. In my next post, I'll share with you all the ways nitric oxide can help address cardiovascular health concerns. Day three, post two. Tomorrow, we'll talk about how the COVID-19 virus damages the lining of your cardiovascular system. But I want to finish out today helping you understand how nitric oxide benefits your health. Bottom line to nitric oxide therapy is improved blood flow. This improves the delivery of oxygen, and facilitates the removal of waste products. Here is just a small list of potential health benefits. Helps to maintain normal blood pressure. Helps to maintain normal blood sugar levels. Improves blood flow to the brain for improved cognitive function. Helps to improve kidney function. Helps men with erectile dysfunction. Helps with wound healing. Helps improve athletic performance. Helps to reduce the risk for strokes and heart attacks. Helps improve skin health. Anything associated with blood flow improves with nitric oxide therapy, and maybe it can 
be helpful in offsetting damage done by the COVID-19 virus to your endothelium. Day four, post one. New research on the COVID-19 virus shows that it targets the lining of your cardiovascular system. This virus damages the endothelium, causing the following problems. Inflammation of the vascular lining, which gets worse as the virus causes more damage to the endothelium. Increased blood pressure. Increased release of a protein needed for blood clotting called the von Willebrand Willebrand factor, resulting in blood clot formation throughout the body, but especially in the lungs. This last one is a significant factor in causing death. Could nitric oxide therapy offset these issues? We'll examine this in the next post. Post Day four, post two. As I shared earlier today, the COVID-19 virus significantly damaged significantly damages the lining of your cardiovascular system. And I posed the question, could nitric oxide therapy offset this damage? COVID-19 causes an increase in blood pressure. Nitric oxide relaxes the smooth muscles of the vascular wall to help maintain normal blood pressure. COVID-19 causes inflammation and damage to your endothelial cells. Nitric oxide initiates repair mechanisms to help reduce inflammation and damage to the endothelium. COVID-19 causes blood clotting to be out of control. Nitric oxide helps to keep blood platelet cells from sticking together to prevent blood clots. While there are no known studies yet on how nitric oxide therapy could help to offset the damage done by the COVID-19 virus, it would make sense that the healthier your endothelium is, the better off you will be. So how do you create nitric oxide in your body? We'll look at this tomorrow. Day five, post one. Now, I'm not saying that nitric oxide therapy will keep you from getting the COVID-19 virus, but it will improve your cardiovascular health and maybe help to lower your risk and improve your outcome if you get the virus. So how do you create nitric oxide in your body? Well, the best way is to properly nourish your endothelium with the right ingredients to optimize its ability to create nitric oxide. Here are the key ingredients, L-arginine, L-citrulline, vitamin C, vitamin D3, vitamin K2, pomegranate fruit juice concentrate, grape skin extract, red grape polyphenol extract. Every one, every one of these ingredients play a play an important role in the production of nitric oxide. And just like you nourish your body every day with food, you need to nourish your endothelial cells with these ingredients if you want to optimize nitric oxide production. In my final post for this week, I'll share with you my product of choice to harness the benefits of nitric oxide. Day five, post two. If you want to enjoy the benefits of nitric oxide therapy for improved blood flow, then then you can consume individually all the ingredients I shared yesterday, or you can find a supplement that contains these ingredients. And while there are hundreds of products in the market, I use a specific brand. It's Pro Arginine Plus from Synergy Worldwide. It's recognized by the medical community. It is listed in the physician's desk reference as, quote, the highest quality L-Arginine supplement in the world, end of quote. It is clinically proven to create higher levels of nitric oxide than using L-arginine alone. Plus, it is clinically proven to prevent vascular inflammation. Plus, they offer a 120-day money-back guarantee on their product. This way, you can put it to the test. And if you don't enjoy the benefits you were hoping for, then you can return the product to Synergy Worldwide for a full refund on the cost of the product. Here is an excellent video that helps you understand why it is so effective. And then there's the link to a video that we created for our Synergy family on ProArts 9 Plus. It's the updated version of that video. Anything you can, anything that you can do to improve your cardiovascular system will help you reduce your risk for a wide range of health issues. If you have any questions on what I've shared with you this week, then please DM me or call me directly at 630-936-8079. So I want to make one comment, or let me make a couple comments. Again, I'll clean up these these posts 
there I there's a couple of typo errors. There's some some word phrases that don't work as well as what they should. Uh, I'll clean that up between now and when this goes out to you on Tuesday. And then what I've tried to do in these posts is create a narrative that as people follow me on social media and they follow my narrative, I can lead them down this pathway to help them both understand nitric oxide therapy and understand the damage COVID-19 does to the lining of their vascular system and how potentially nitric oxide therapy could help to offset some of those issues caused by the COVID-19 virus. And I, and I want to point out this last statement here. You'll, you'll notice in this last posting, when I talk about ProArts 9 Plus, I do not mention COVID-19 at all. What I do is I talk about nitric oxide therapy and the benefits of nitric oxide therapy and the improved blood flow and highlight our product of choice, ProArtin Plus, why it's my product of choice, have a great video that they can link to that reinforces why it's our product of choice. And then I make this statement, anything you can do to improve your cardiovascular system will help you reduce your risk for a wide range of health issues. It's purposely worded that way because I do not want to make any association between ProArts 9 Plus and COVID-19, but I do want to make the association between nitric oxide therapy and our product of choice, ProArts 9 Plus, for maximizing the ability to create nitric oxide and then how nitric oxide can help to improve cardi the cardiovascular system to, again, reduce uh, your risk for a wide range of health issues. And I use that for people because I'm just going to assume that they're going to make the assumption because of what I've shared with them in the previous post that maybe that could help them reduce potentially some issues that they might have if they get the COVID-19 virus. So again, it's really important that you don't associate ProArch 9 Plus with COVID-19. It's associate everything with nitric oxide therapy and what it could do to potentially offset some of the damage that could be created by the COVID-19 virus to the endothelium. And then it's always our product of choice of to create nitric oxide, here's our product of choice, here's the reasons why. Now, with that said, uh, we got a great amount of people that are on today's presentation. You're all muted. If you have questions, comments, suggestions, now's the time to open up. You'll, you'll have to unmute yourself and then I can field any questions that people might have with regards to marketing nitric oxide therapy. Hi, Dan. This is David. Good morning. Yes, David. How are you? This, yeah, great. And thank you for the presentation. One part that attracted me is the uh, verbiage or that you share there for existing customers and sending mm -hmm. them an email and letting them know that, sure. uh, you know, just educating them. So this particular template, these particular phrases that you have here, I know that you're going to issue the recording on Tuesday. Are these going to be available uh, online or on uh, our Synergy family as a, as a PDF? Yet yeah, in answer to your question, David, yes, this PDF that I'm showing you, the link to this PDF will go out on Tuesday in the newsletter. Plus I'll take this video and I'll take this PDF and I'll put it into our Synergy family uh, here, you know, for the nitric oxide therapy page, I will place this information. I'm not sure exactly where I'm going to place it yet. I've got to think this through, uh, but it'll, you know, maybe I'll put it down here where if you look specific videos, oh, take that back here, recorded Saturday training that applied to nitric oxide therapy and ProArgin Plus. I'll most likely put today's recording of our Saturday presentation plus the uh, PDF, and I'll put it into this section here so that you will have access to the PDF as well as if you want to go back and listen to the recording. Great, great. Look forward to it. Thank you, Dan. You're welcome. Anyone else with any questions, comments, or suggestions before we say goodbye? 
Hey, Dan, it's Judy. Yes, Judy. So I just wanted to thank you for, um, for this work with the social media post. So as, I, as you were going through the newsletter, I was thinking, oh my gosh, this would make such a social media post. I just am going to have to figure out how to do that for a week or so. And lo and behold, the, you know, in about 30 seconds or so, you've, you already had it done. And so thank you so much. It's, it's saving so much time and it's such pertinent information and timely information for what's going on. And this kind of information that we put out really will make the, the person that's, that's posting it a subject matter expert. And whether you get comments or shares or likes, um, people are reading those. They may not show you they're reading them, but in conversations that I have with my, with my customers and acquaintances, they're telling me, oh my gosh, you, you, you really educated me on this topic or I really enjoyed that post, even though they didn't make a comment on it. So, you know, more and more people are ghosting these days. So I guess the short uh, part of that story is take these posts and, and utilize them on your social media platforms and don't get disappointed if you don't get, uh, you know, all these likes and shares. So thanks. You're welcome, Judy. I appreciate what you had to share. Plus, I want people to understand that you could do this social media campaign that I just showed you for a week. And then you've also set up the following two weeks after that, if you want to continue down this pathway. Because what did I do in my first post? I said, in my next post, I'll share with you the three keys to COVID-19 protection. So my post two is this, as promised, I'm going to share with you the three keys to COVID-19 protection. They are having normal vitamin D levels in your bloodstream, improving your immune system health, harnessing the power of nitric oxide therapy. So you could then create another stream the following week of 10 posts. And you could say, you know, something to the effect. And again, I'm just, hi, everyone. I want to share some additional information this week from the Million Lives Project on how uh, on, on the three keys to COVID-19 protection. If you remember from last week, I shared with you that the three keys are having normal vitamin D levels in your bloodstream, improving your immune system health, harnessing your, the power of nitric oxide therapy. I got a lot of feedback with regards to the nitric oxide therapy. I'm glad it was beneficial to people. This week, I want to share with you information on how you can improve your immune system health. And where would be your post for doing something like that? Again, if you go to our Synergy family, if you go uh, to immune health, and if you scroll down, you're going to find, here's a social media campaign for immune health. If you click on that, and you scroll down here towards the bottom, there you have it. There's your posting for your day one, your two posts, day two, your two posts, day three, your two posts. You, you have all your posting that you can do to help educate people on how they can boost their immune system, which continues this process that Judy talked about, where you're educating the people that are following you and how they can take steps to improve their health. And then as you continue to do that, what are you doing in their eyes? You're continuing to build your credibility and the confidence that they have in the information that you're sharing with them. And at some point in time, that information is going to hit home where they're going to want to DM you or contact you if you're giving them opportunity to do that, to get more information and present to them products that can help them. Like in this case, if we're talking about the immune system, where do we go? You know, we, we, we introduce the immune booster to people. So, so again, you can continue this process of helping to use social media through 
resources that have already been created for you, all you have to do is adapt them to your voice, change them in the in the ways that you want to change them, and and then just put this information up into your social media platforms, whether it be LinkedIn or YouTube or not YouTube, but uh, uh, Facebook or whatever other social media platforms that are out there that you might be engaged in. Thanks, Judy, for making that observation. Anyone else with any final questions or comments or suggestions before we say goodbye? All right, I'll take it by the quiet that uh, we're all set. I appreciate your time today. Uh, hello, next... hello, Dan. Yes, Donald. Like the others said, um, thanks for uh, this, um, this webinar. Uh, if I might, the, <clears throat> you said no, Normal vitamin D. Can you use the the um, the results, meaning sufficiency, insufficiency of vitamin D, as opposed to just normal? Uh, I suppose you could. It would depend upon how you how you wrote that. So that people would okay. understand. Okay. And then, if you're if you're going to talk about the vitamin D again, what I want to do is go back to our immune system health page. And if you're going to focus on vitamin D, then what you want to do is come down here, where we have some additional videos on the immune system. And this video here that we did for our Synergy family on vitamin D deficiency is just absolutely key. Any person that you're going to talk to about vitamin D levels, my suggestion is that you come to this page, you put your cursor over the image, you right click, you copy the video URL and you, and you send that to people because this video will be an eye opener with regards to what you're talking about. Insufficiency yeah. and deficient levels in vitamin D is significant. Again, I'm going on memory here but this video talks about the Indonesian study. If you have normal vitamin D levels, your death rate is 4% from COVID-19 in their study. If your vitamin D levels are insufficient, your death rate is 88%. 88 people out of 100 died. If your vitamin D levels are deficient, 99% death rate. 99 people out of 100 died. Correct. So so the so it's like night and day between having normal vitamin D levels versus insufficient to deficient vitamin D levels with regards to the outcome of COVID-19 death. And then there is new research that has come that's come out that's not in this video but is documented research that shows that People who have normal vitamin D levels, if I'm, I'm going on memory now, is I think 78 or 77 or 78% reduced risk of getting COVID-19. And when you adjust for age, age only makes a difference of 6%, which means that no matter what your age is, like if you're an older population group that's more susceptible, if you have normal vitamin D levels, then you're you're, you reduce your risk by 71%. Thank you very much. So yeah, that would be the direction that I would go if you're gonna go down that route. Okay, love it. All right, something in the chat box. Let's see what it was. So, so Yancey's question is vitamin D2 or vitamin D3? And from a supplement standpoint, Yancey, it's always gotta be vitamin D3. Vitamin D2 comes from plants. Vitamin D3 comes from animal sourcing. So the vegans are gonna have an issue with that, but understand for vegans that you're not killing any animals, you're not eating any animals. Typically where vitamin D3 comes from is you're, you're shearing the wool off of sheep, which does them a favor. You're then washing the lanolin out of the wool, and then you're using the lanolin and through a chemical process, converting that to vitamin D3, because vitamin D3 is the 
is the best way that your body can convert that to its final form of vitamin D levels. And again, this video, let me go back to this video here actually goes through this process so that people can understand the conversion factor that goes on in the body and why vitamin D3 is a, is a better sourcing from a supplementation standpoint to help you get your vitamin D levels up in the proper levels. So vitamin D3 is the, is the preferred format that you would want to take that vitamin into your system to get optimal conversion to increase your vitamin D levels in your bloodstream. Also, Dan, it's, it's converted in the liver as um, I think they call it calcifidiol. So that, sure. Well, again, that's the final conversion. It's Correct. converted. It's converted first in the kidneys, and then it's converted final form in the liver. And again, this video goes through that process, so that, so that again, what you're giving to people is eye-opening information, especially you know, but knowing their vitamin D levels is extremely important. And I don't know if our country is going to go to this, but from a from a public health standpoint most likely the easiest thing that they could do to understand vulnerability to the COVID-19 is anytime a person gets a blood test done, have a vitamin D panel done on their blood test. It's not normally done, but it most likely from a public health standpoint should be something that is added because then you can tell people you need to address your vitamin D levels. Okay, so no, Yancey, watch the video. Just just go on to our Synergy, you know, go on to our Synergy family, click on the button for immune health, scroll down to this video here. It's it's the final form of vitamin D in your body that's important. That the final form converted by the liver as it goes through this process, vitamin D3 floats in the bloodstream. It then goes to the kidneys, converted to the next form of vitamin D, goes to the liver to be converted to the final form of vitamin D. And it's that final form of vitamin D that is important to your immune system health. And, and so again, this video will help you better understand that. All right, thanks, Dan. You're welcome, Yancy. <laughs> but from a supplement Another standpoint, thing. it's always best to have vitamin D3. It's going to be easier for your body to convert that to its final form than vitamin D2. Someone had something that they were going to say? Yeah, it was me, Dan, Donald. Um, the link to today's video goes to which nitric oxide, if you would point that out again, please. I'm not sure I understand your question. Which video? The, the link at the bottom of your um, presentation goes to which? nitric oxide video goes to this one here pro Arching plus our product of choice what is the best product to harness the power of nitric oxide to improve blood flow okay. goes to that one all right anything final before we say goodbye all right thank you everyone great set of questions today discussion hopefully this information was helpful to you Next week, I'm looking forward to David Munoz, and he's going to be sharing some information on how you can overcome objections. Should be a great presentation. David always does an excellent job. Thank you, everyone. Have a blessed weekend. Talk to you next Saturday.